Hello homeschoolers. Today I'm back with another curriculum video and today we are talking about grade eight, nine. So again, my daughter's in eighth grade this year and she'll be doing ninth grade work. We will be doing algebra one, world religions, biology, world history, and English literature. And then we'll also be doing culinary, art, and health, um, not quite every day, but on our other days. Okay, let's start with a simple subject, English and literature. We are doing a lot of classic literature, so to go with that, I got one of the Big Ideas book, which we really love this series. So this is the literature one, and this will help um, explain and talk about some of the things that we'll be reading and some of the authors. It's really some interesting information in here, just as a supplement to go along with the classic literature that we're reading. Um, the second semester, we're really going to focus on writing. So throughout the year, I'm going to have her do this vocabulary book. This is a vocabulary in context. And we'll be doing this book along with uh, just finishing up the Spectrum 8th grade language arts book. She is way ahead in language arts, so I'm actually using this more as kind of a review this year. It's really not necessary for her. And then at second semester, we will go ahead and buy the APA guide uh, for writing. Um, essays and papers. All right, the next subject that's really easy to go through is going to be Algebra 1, and we are using the Denison program this year. I have taught her math all the way through eighth grade, um, pre-algebra, and I'm about done. So this program, this is a huge book, look at this. This program comes with videos for every day and it's really nicely laid out. They have great video explanations. Um, so this is the textbook for the kids. This is the parent guide and the test booklet. And then you also get a solutions manual. And like I said, there are videos to go with everything. So it's all really nicely laid out. I have heard nothing but amazing things about Denison. Never have I heard one negative thing. So we're really, really looking forward to starting that. All right, next we'll talk about world religions. Um, since this year we're doing world history, we're gonna do world religions along with that. When I was in Catholic high school, we had a world religions class in sophomore year, and it was by far my absolute favorite class in high school. So I'm so excited to start this with her, and we got a few books to go with that. This is the 12 Major Religions, and then again, another one of those great big ideas books and the Us Born Encyclopedia to World Religions. Now, Us Born is a Christian-based curriculum, I believe. So I do bring in secular things as well because I want to make sure that this is a fully rounded program. Um, so you can see the different, they'll have all sorts of different religions and timelines and all these books. Lots of timelines. It talks about 12 religions in that book. And then this one is all the big ideas, talks about all the religions. Again, nice and colorful. The big ideas books are really great. Easy reads, um, comfortable to read, uh, not too small a text. So these are really nice. And then the Usborn one is a really nice, colorful book as well. Lots of great stuff in there. Look at that. It's a beautiful book, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous book. So again, we're doing world religions because that really, really flows well with world history because you cannot talk about history without talking about religion. So bringing us to history, we have 
a few history books here, some of which we already had at home. These really nice, what I call coffee table style books. These are uh, National Geographic, Ultimate History of the World. I bought these years ago and we keep these on hand because they are excellent to go along with all of your history throughout the years. And they're actually pretty amazing for adults to read too. So they've got some beautiful pictures because a picture to me is worth a thousand words. You know, reading a textbook can be boring. So we like pictures. And then here is the history year by year. We also have the Smithsonian History um, and a Thousand Objects book and several other history books going on. But again, this one is by year by year. So it's nice because it'll follow along really well with what we're doing. Right in order. Very nice books. So for history, we are going to do the fast track program. This is designed for like AP and honors. This is a study guide of what you need to know for the testing. So it's a nice small book. And again, this is gonna go along with our other books. We'll kind of use them all together. Oh, I wanted to point out, I had marked this page. Um, because this is, again, where the religions come in. This is about in the center of the book. So world religions is right there in world histories. Do not forget about it. So let me talk about this. This is the History Big Ideas book again. So like I said, easy reads, colorful, go along with everything you're studying. Now, we are doing... Um, semester one will be ancient history through 1698, I believe. And then after that will be, sorry, 1648. And then after that will be 1648 through the present. So we have the CLEP guides. We are using these um, because we plan to take the CLEP tests. Um, there's one for Western Civilization 1 and then Western Civilization 2. So in December, I'll go ahead and buy the second book, is it be a similar book, uh, for that second test. Um, again, the first test is, this is a college level test. It'll be a college credit if she passes. This first test will go from Ancient History to 1648. And then the second one is going to go from 1648 to the present for world history. So this is a study guide and I've kind of marked it off because there's practice tests in here and how to take CLEP tests, all sorts of great um, recommendations on how to test as well as lots of information to read through to go along with your studying. And these do come with um, online programs as well. And then when we do the club tests, that will be through Modern States. It's free and they have a, I think it's a four week um, program that they'll take to study for the test. So she'll be doing the book studying and then she'll do the online program and then she'll take each club test. So that is world history, lots there. Okay, we have biology here. So I've got a lot of books for biology, and what I find is when I'm not confident in a subject, I tend to buy a lot of books on the subject. Last year, I think I had five different algebra books. So again, we're using that fast track book. Um, she has liked these for middle school. This is a high school. They have a few high school versions. Um, the Everything You Need to Know, Big Fat Notebooks. Um, so she liked the way this was laid out. So I went ahead and got this one and we will use it uh, for biology. But again, it'll be used alongside all these other things. It's a very easy read. Um, and then they do have questions and answers at the end of the, each chapter. So we're going to use that along with, again, the Big Ideas book because these are so nice to read, easily laid out colorful. 
So I like to mix some of these easy reads in with a little more difficult things because again, we're using that fast track and those are for AP and honors type of testing and being that we're gonna do the CLEP test as well for biology. I wanted her to have um, additional study guides. So this is the fast track biology study guide. And then we have a workbook. These are really nice workbooks, this 100 series. They've got several different ones. Um, we have a physical science. There's a chemistry. Um, they are grades 6 through 12, so um, some things will be a little easier. Some things are a little harder. They've got all the answers in the back there. And nice uh, workbook pages. Now, the thing with these, there's no... They're just workbook pages, just worksheets, basically. So you have to find the information to go along with them. I mean, the answers are in the back of the book, but you would need to go study the nervous system um, in order to do this page. So, of course, we're going to use these alongside our other books. But that um, is not like some of the science books where it has a reading and then the comprehension questions. This is just worksheets to go along with your studies. And then again, we have the biology CLEP book. Um, and this does come with the book and the online program. And it's the same thing. It's going to be how to take the CLEP tests as well as all the study guides for biology and practice tests. So we're going to attempt that at the end of the year, see how that goes. This book I got, I think I got a little too many biology books, but this book I just couldn't pass up because I think it's a really great supplement to go with everything we're studying. Look at these beautiful pages. I love these big hardcover books that have such nice pages. And it's simple. you got one or two pages for each thing and you know just read something small to go along with whatever you read in your other books it's you know one page and it gives you a little synopsis some beautiful pictures nice information i really like this book so that is biology okay so since we're doing ninth grade um, but she's in eighth grade. We're going to do five years of high school. Now that's going to include those CLEP tests, which will give her college credit. And that's also going to eventually include dual enrollment. Um, however, since we're basically going to do five years of school, I'm not pushing her and rushing too fast on anything. So we're doing five um, core credits, which would be the algebra, the world religions, English literature, biology, and world history. Um, we are going to do a credit on culinary, which we pretty much do every year. And she'll also do art and health just periodically. Art she'll probably do more. Health we'll do a little bit this year. So these are my books from culinary school. Um, and we do a lot of cooking and baking in this house. So I do teach out of this. I don't think she notices that much because I don't pull the book out necessarily for her to see. But these are all the um, recipes that I use, which are commercial grade recipes. So we do discuss that. Um, we have to make the recipes smaller sometimes because these are large recipes designed for kitchens and stuff. But this is absolutely wonderful books you can probably buy these used um again they're kind of expensive because these are real textbooks from um, my culinary school and college again here's the cooking one so these are the ones that i base my teaching out of big thick books lots going on in here All right, so I think that's about it. These are our core subjects. Once again, algebra, world religions, biology, English lit, and world history for ninth grade level. And we'll talk with you again soon.